for that. Um, so I'm thinking ahead about our lives with our, with Sky, and it's bringing such enjoyment. Um, you know, when you can look ahead in life and and have a dream, and that's what I've been show, trying to tell you guys is, especially when you're trying to get healthy, it's like the hardest. It seems like the hardest thing to do. You can't live in the now because your now seems to be so low and um, lacking and um, desperate and so much emotional um, trauma going on there. You can't continuously think of how you feel right now. You have to envision yourself of how you want to be, how you want to look. And that's why I always suggest finding um, an image of, with, of someone who has your same body type or people create vision boards. Um, and you have to look at that, but you have to not just look at it. You have to feel it. You have to have that feeling within your heart at all times and keep it implanted in your mind. And when you can actually grab a hold of it and live in it now, like now I am dreaming of what toys I can buy for her, what, you know, trips we can take, um, um, playing outside. I get to play with my grandbaby. I didn't get to play with my son outside in the grass, in the sand <sighs> because he was sick and he couldn't be outside. Or that's what I thought because of my limiting beliefs and his illnesses. I was so afraid. Well, what if he gets worse? What if he gets worse? You know, so I, I create fear in my own child. Um, and then I couldn't go out because I felt I couldn't go out because I was always in pain. Another limiting belief, you know, and that's what a belief is. It either lifts you or takes away from you. And you know if it's a good belief, if it prevents you from understanding or, or having anything further than your little circle. And if you're living in this little circle of illusion, that's a limiting belief. Um, and you need to shed that because you are missing out on so much more out there. You're missing out on better people, greater 